Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see an experiment called the Leiden Frost Effect. And Leiden Frost Effect is all about high temperature and water. But this is not hot enough. You can see it boils away, it just vaporizes. So we're going to forward a little bit. Now when it's hot enough and we put some water down, we can see some droplets. And exactly when the surface is hot enough, immediately when that hit the surface, a small vaporized amount of water will be caught below the droplets and creating this hovering effect. But we can see some unevenness on the plate because sometimes it vaporized Sometimes it stays in droplets. That's called the, the Leiden frost effect. And now we're going to try it on a ring that I have that is milled, kind of like a stair that going all, all the way around. And with that it creates this really interesting effect, making it go round and round. And with different temperature and different size of the droplet it can go different directions or different speed. And it looks really nice. But I want to see, can I add more water? Seems like it's staying up for a while. But it keep moving. It's in the other direction or, yeah. No? <laughs> I don't know what the direction it will choose. Seems like it shows the same for the most of the times. See if it changed now to go the same. Kinda don't know what way it will go will shows here we go let's add some more water I think I'm gonna see if we can have water all the way around but I can't add too much water at the time I think because it, it probably will stop or destroy the effect I think pretty much the half now, so I will add some more. Now we have water almost all the way. We're gonna add some more. So almost all the way. Yeah, yes, some more water. We'll see. Now it looks like it's all the way, I think. We're gonna try to turn off the plate and see what will happen then. And while waiting for this to get colder, I can tell you that 
the Leidenfrost effect was named after Johan Gottlob Leidenfrost, or Leidenfrost maybe it's pronounced. Uh, he was from Germany, uh, a doctor and I think professor as well. Uh, and he wrote and discussed this effect in a work called Attract About Some Quantities of Common Water. And this was written 1756, so it was 263 years ago. And now we are seeing that there are some water that have vaporized, I assume. Getting less and less and going not as quick as before. But let us forward this for a little while. So there we have it, a small greenish ball of some reason that eventually will vaporize entirely. If you enjoy this video, like, subscribe to my channel and stay safe everyone.